What's up everybody, welcome to another video. Hope you're ready to flex those brain muscles because in this video I'm going to prove that the square root of two is irrational. So I remember doing this proof in my intro to proofs class so it is pretty beginner friendly and it's also a great example of showing how to use proof by contradiction. So this is a very powerful proving technique, this proof by contradiction, and it's used very commonly from intro classes all the way up through analysis and upper level math. So I figure this will be a great way to show proof by contradiction an example of using it. So basically proof by contradiction means that we assume that this is false. So we're going to suppose this is false and we're going to try to come across some contradiction, right? And if you line up the truth table, you'll, you'll see why this fully works. But the way I think of it is I think of we're kind of showing that this is not, not true, right? So if we have a statement, it's either true or false. So if a statement is not, not true, that means that it must be true because of that double negative. So that's how I kind of think of it. That's not a textbook definition, uh, but that's just the way my brain goes, so I figured I'd share it. So again, prove that the square root of two is irrational. So to show that this is irrational, we're gonna suppose that it's rational and then see if we can come across some contradiction. So that's the first step of this proof. Proof, suppose the square root of two is rational. Suppose square root of two is rational, all right? So from here, we can write out what it means to be a rational number. We need the definition here. So to be a rational number, that means that the square root of two can be expressed as a ratio of integers. And these integers are relatively prime. That's the key to this proof, you'll see. Two relatively prime integers. So that means that, let's see, suppose square root of two is rational, then, then uh, square root of two equals a over b, where a and b are relatively prime integers. Are relatively prime integers, okay? And again, that just means their only common factor between the two is one. They have no other factors between the two. So this is a fully simplified fraction, if you want to think of it that way. a and b are relatively prime integers. And maybe you're thinking to yourself, wait a minute. Wait a minute, what about something like eight over two? Right? What about something like 8 over 2? That's a rational number, and they share a common factor of 2, but that can be simplified down to 4 over 1. So I'm not saying that every rational number is composed of relatively prime integers. I'm just saying that every rational number can be expressed as a ratio of relatively prime integers. So hopefully that makes sense. So let's see. Suppose square root of 2 is rational, right? This proof by contradiction. Then the square root of 2 equals a over b, where a and b are relatively prime integers. So now what should we do? Well, let's try squaring both sides. Let's get rid of that square root. Square roots are a little bit ugly anyway, right? Then, then 2 equals a squared over b squared. That's what I get when I square both sides of that equation. 2 equals a squared over b squared. And now what can I do? Well, I can solve for a squared. Maybe that'll get me some. And really what I'm trying to do is come across some kind of contradiction here, right? That's what I'm trying to do. So... 2 equals a squared over b squared. It's hard to see what the contradiction is going to be from this point, but I'm going to multiply both sides by b squared to see if I can make some progress. Then, and I'm just going to write, then, then 2b squared. And I could finesse this proof more, like use more lingo in here, but I have limited space. So this isn't going to be the most elegant proof as far as the wording, but then 2b squared equals a squared, all right? So what does this tell us? This tells us that a squared has a factor of two, right? Uh, that means that a squared is even. A squared is even, which means that a is even, right? And that's, I mean, you could do a little lemma and show why that's true, but we can take that as being trivial for this proof. So since a squared is a factor of two, a squared is even, therefore a is even. So I'm gonna write then, then a squared is even, Hence, a is even. So since a is even, what does that mean? We can use the definition of what it means to be even and say that, well, then a can be expressed as 2 times some integer, right? Then a equals 2 times, I'll call it c, since we're using a and b, I'll call it c. a equals 2 times c, where c is some integer, that's the sign for integer, that double bar Z. 
All right, so what do I have now? I have a is two times c, where c is some integer. So let's go back to this equation and let's replace a with two times c and see what happens, okay? So I'll start a new line here. Then, so since 2b squared equals a squared, 2b squared equals 2c squared, right? The whole thing squared, so 4c squared. Then 2b squared equals 4 c squared. I took 2c and I squared the whole thing, so I had to distribute the square, right? So now maybe I should multiply both sides by one half. I can solve for b squared, and I think maybe I see what my contradiction is going to be from here, okay? So if I multiply both sides by one half, I get b squared equals 2c squared, all right? And what does this tell us? This tells us that b squared is also even, which means that b is also even. So 2 is a factor of both A and B, and this is going to be our contradiction because we assumed, right, we suppose root 2 is rational, which means that the square root of 2 can be expressed as A over B, where A and B are relatively prime integers, so only share a common factor of 1, yet now we've seen that they have a common factor of 2, right? So this contradicts what we assumed to be true and therefore shows that the square root of 2 is irrational. So it's a pretty subtle, a little bit tricky contradiction that we come across, but this does actually finish the proof. So let me just finish writing it out. Then 2b squared equals 4c squared, so b squared equals 2c squared. All right, then, then uh, let's see, what am I going to say? b squared is even. And I guess I should technically say b squared, um, then 2 b squared has a factor of 2, and I should have said that too, uh, up here as well. And the reason why is because this kind of proof, this exact basic layout, can work for any rational number. I can do square root of 5, and this would just be 5s, and this would be a 5 here, and this, the same exact idea would work. So using even kind of makes more sense because it's something we're more used to using. Um, but it would work if I replaced that with, you know, square root of 3, square root of 5, something like that. So let's see. Then b squared is even. Hence, uh, b is even. Then uh, a and b share a common factor of 2. So this is our contradiction, hence contradiction. So contradiction, I like to write the two arrows bumping into each other, that's my symbol, right? And then we can say that square root of two is irrational. But yeah, hopefully this proof makes sense. Yeah, hopefully this proof makes sense. I like this proof a lot, it's slick, uh, the, the contradiction is subtle. But it is fairly straightforward. It's using stuff we're used to, stuff that we know, you know, integers, um, even, uh, rational, stuff like this, definitions that we know that aren't too hard, and it's pretty beginner-friendly. So hopefully this makes sense. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit like. Let me know in a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, I love doing proofs. So if you want to see more proofs, let me know in the comments below. If there's a specific one or just more videos like this in general, please do let me know, and I will make more. Hit subscribe, but most importantly, keep flexing those brain muscles. I'll see you in the next video.